Hey, how's it going? I got some new stones into the shop, and by new, I mean like they're really new to the shop. I never had them before, and they are these guys. Oops, those two pieces. I have more than two pieces here. I have a whole bunch. Um, let's hold this one up. It's pretty cool. They're all pretty cool. I get my fingers out of the way so I can actually see it. Okay, so this stuff is called K2. Sometimes it's called K2 Jasper. Sometimes it's called K2 Granite. Um, there's some unclear information as to whether or not people are calling it Afghanite or something else. I don't know, but I've always known it as K2. I haven't known it all that long. And this is the first time, like I said, I've ever had it in the shop. I have not yet worked with these stones. I have no opinion or experience or, or any feedback um, from my personal experience with these crystals. So all I can do today is share with you the notes that I have from doing some research. So first off, it's not a Jasper. They call it, there's a couple stones that they call Jasper that's not Jasper. This is more like granite. And the blue is azurite, believe it or not. I know it looks totally fake. It looks like it's dyed. Um, I did check some geological websites and it is not dyed, it is azurite. And in some cases, you'll find some green specks, which is malachite, which is pretty cool. Um, from what I've read so far, this stuff tends to be pretty rare. And right now they're finding it in the foothills of the highest mountain on earth in like around the Pakistan area okay um, the geological website said that they couldn't narrow it down exactly I don't know why because you know I don't know whatever I don't know I don't run that website anyway um, so what is it good for what does it do and again these are not my personal experiences this is just the um, little bit of research that I've done on it and that it is a very high vibrational stone, but yet it's grounding as well. It helps to allow you to gain control over your emotions, which is a good thing because this stone also helps you to access higher levels of consciousness. And if your emotions are out of whack, you, you're not experiencing anything. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're experiencing emotional turmoil. Um, but these are... There, there, a lot of people are calling them um, high dimensional awareness stones or high vibrational stones or whatever. They resonate with the third eye. They're good for your intuition and your insight and they are also good for empathy. Um, not necessarily for empaths because empaths are already pretty in tuned with other people's emotions but they help you uh, be empathetic to other people's needs. Um, so if you're not empathetic, this would help with that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, let's see what else can I remember. It does balance and center you. Um, I do remember reading about it. Oh, my phone is ringing that it is good for group work, especially bringing harmony in the group, especially when the group needs to come together and they're just not getting their stuff together. Uh, I think I mentioned everything I can remember about it. Um, as usual, I'm saying um a lot. As usual, <laughs> to really know what a crystal does, how it will benefit you, you just need to figure it out for yourself by getting a piece and working with it meaning carrying it with you, taking note of how you feel, meditate with it, maybe try sleeping with it, put it under your pillow, put it near your bed. Um, I'll show you this piece again. Look at that. Look at that big chunk of blue right there. That's so cool. And, and um, take notes of how you feel when, you're, when you have this stone in your presence. That's really all working with a crystal means is, is paying attention to how you feel when it's in your presence and then knowing, oh, you know, this stone made me feel this way I'm, and I could use that, so I'm going to carry that today. Um, so yeah, grab a piece. I've got them here at the shop. I got plenty. 
um, or if you can't get here or whatever, you find a piece from a reputable dealer and play with it and check it out and see how it makes you feel. Um, I'm going to attempt to play with them myself, um, but I tend to be super busy and then forget to do the fun stuff, which is kind of sad. <laughs> But after I've had personal experience, maybe I'll do another video explaining how it makes me feel. But until then, you're on your own, kiddo. All right, have a fantastic day. Go play with some rocks. Go learn something new about them and yourself. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.